And at that, I should also introduce the uh, specific character on the HUD here that uh, is taking the form of Beat. His name is Tembris Barriker. Friends of his call him Teren. He's very much a workaholic, very much a person who hates failure in all of its forms. To the point that he takes it personally if even he fails. He's a very tough person, pretty powerful fighter, and also the cousin of one Diljeef Kalist. Yeah, believe it or not, Diljeef Kalist technically has a cousin. How a cat has a cousin in the form of a bull? I don't know. Just that's how logic works. <laughs> and fortunately, Beat can't exactly punch through everything. Yo, what the hell? I got the key pin right here. Why can't I break it? Key pin. Yes, Pokemon egg group rules. Exactly. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> Pokemon egg group rules. They're both quadrupedal. Voila. Yeah, Reaper's got him to open each area. Skitty and Wh Right! I forgot that was a thing! Skitty- Hot Skitty on Wailord action. <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that was a thing, and I feel ashamed. How do you think I opened up the last wall? I think you mean Smash. Open them takes far too long. We got through, right? Who cares how? Certainly not you. Besides, breaking the walls feels better. This is nuts, dude. Keep it up, and you won't last out the mission. It don't matter, man. What the hell? Let me in! Let me in! <laughs> uh, God damn it. You know, I actually did have my first experience with Eric Andre while I was in the hospital three months back. In recovery for my uh, particular surgery. It's been dominoes since. It's also been hell trying to find the remaining episodes of Eric Andre. Maybe you got the wrong key. Damn it, I need another key. Look, let's give this up for now. 104 is back the other way. We gotta hurry, time's running out. Fine, whatever. Whoa. Hey, wait up! Conductor, sir, I've received word of another rebellion. A new Reaper under special orders from you, sir. Name, Daisuke Nojo Bipo. He's been with us for eight days. Oh yes, that boy. With your permission, sir, I'd like to handle him personally, as Game Master, of course. No, Konishi, you'll remain on standby. To what end, sir? I need to discuss this with the composer. Mr. Kitaniji, far be it from me to question you, but the boy's been on duty for all of eight days. He hasn't earned a single point. Why trouble the composer when he's doomed anyway? <laughs> Konishi talking back. Is hell frozen over? We met out punishment based on the crime, not the criminal. Recently got into making Rubio seeds since Fairy Tale Inspiration. Yeah, it is. Like, I do really like how things. how characters end up being created within the world of Ruby, but. Unfortunately, the storylines they tell are been not great, to say nothing of the company behind it. Like, I really wish Monty Ohm was still alive. Rest in peace. Agreed. It's one of the instances where the concept is just too good for the plot that's been given. I understand, sir. I'll stay my hand until the composer is spoken. A little goon. Even a chimp knows better than to pick the losing side. This ruins my plans to wrap the game up on day one. I need to look up a new strategy, just for the longer term. Good thing I never make mistakes. Yeah, honestly, it's for the better. Just... 
the entirety of Ruby past Season 3 has been a long, drawn-out tale of mismanagement and terrible... Good day. You're is a terrible execution. And that's a shame. Your taste is impeccable. Because, like, there are some ridiculously good ideas, but... I look forward to your next visit. They don't take advantage of them, specifically because they're... Because the writers are too busy trying to... I don't know how to put it, like... Maybe gain political sway, maybe even... Kowtow to concepts that they really shouldn't be. I don't know, and I don't care. It's something that is getting in the way of telling a good story, and that bothers me. That's frustrating. Ooh, a team based on cryptids. Cool. I need to do more research on some cryptids, too, specifically so I can properly create more figmenti. Because some of the ones that I have created already are either based on typical RPG-like monsters, Easiest example in that one I can give, the Sprigs are based off of Driad. And at that, uh, one that is actually very important to the plot, I believe I do have a specific card on them too, the Mind Slayer. A portmanteau of the Drider and the Cthulhuan Mind Flayer. I need to do more research on more cryptids just so I could create more figmenti. Because like, that's where the good chunk, a good chunk of creativity is going to come with mindless. Being able to gimmick various concepts and ideas. Another wall? <laughs> the noise is getting a beat down. Ready, phones? Hope you can keep up. First, you gotta tell me how you fight. That's easy. I just. You know, it's like, uh, poker. Yeah, I gotta get cards of the same suit. Okay, makes sense. Sort of. You'll get it once we stop fighting, yo. Let's do it. Right now? Beat is very complicated. Think of it like a mini puzzle game. Whenever you go through the combo map, then the two cards that appear at the end of it get inserted exactly where the cursor is on the line of cards at the bottom of the top screen. Matchup, I believe it's like three cards, is it two or three cards of the same suit consecutively? And they remove themselves. Match consecutive chains together and remove them from the field to gain more fusion stars. However, if you leave any cards around that touch the flames that are at the borders of the lines, they will damage you or otherwise subtract car as a combo stars. It's very much risk reward, and if you're not careful, you can easily burn yourself out to extinction. It's a style that forces you to not mash. Damn it. Here we go. Once you have a skull, you'll gain is it you'll gain matches to clear the board and start again. Let's see. I need at least a break. Hold on. Four pick was it the four you picked for the team? Ali Akanto, Mothman, Spring Heel Jack, and Krakata. Good idea to pick from different countries. Gives you more variety. How do you like that? Two cards of the ground, pick, em, pick up one in the air. Lay on the skull and kablam, I'm there. That's confusing. Well, unfuse it. I can't figure it out, so you gotta. But, but it's your technique. I only know what I know, cause... Uh, because Rhyme explained it. Right. Rhyme. For some reason, U.S. has the best... <laughs> uh, no. Sometimes you can find some interesting ones. 
like, uh, I remember one specifically that I ended up basing a creature on that I believe extended from either South America or Central America. I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. But unfortunately, I can't. Saucy. I said Saki, I forget. Actually, I don't know the pronunciation. Hey, now you know how it's done. I really wish I could remember, to be honest. Like, at this point, maybe I should just, like, skim around and see if I can remember it. Maybe? Hold on, let me see if I can't pull up the document. I remember picking a particular being and then, like, I think crossing it with a mollusk? For one. I... I don't remember. Still looking it up, though. <sighs> well, I'm... While I'm looking it up, I'll just go through cutscenes. One day down, six more to go. First, I have to ask you something. What, yo? Let's just play the game. Trust your partner. That's the key to survival here, so I gotta know. You said you helped me so you could repay a favor. It's fine. It's fine. Sometimes I just, like, glitch and forget even the simplest of things. Actually, come to think of it, about a year ago, I had a moment where I completely forgot my own name. Just, like, I was sitting in front of a document, I needed to write my name, and I'm like, oh shit, what's my name? <laughs> and not like my uh, screen name, Sage Blake, or Sage of Magi, but my actual real-life name. The one that I have had for like 24 years. I feel like that's really bad. <laughs> Let's see, it has to be this one. You said you helped me so you could repay a favor. Yeah, so? Is that the only reason? You can't afford any surprises in this game. Why put yourself in jeopardy? What's a jeopardy? <laughs> Look, man, I don't know big words. I do got another reason. Okay, what? I want to set Shibuya up with a new composer. Me. Seriously? I mean, fair. But me, I honestly kind of hate- I kind of don't exactly like my name as much. And besides that, I'm a very closeted type of person, if that makes sense. Let's see... Like, it's like- so this particular creature is like a plot point in the story that it's in, because like... It's a mollusk that emits a tone that specifically bypasses perception and allows it so that other sounds can manipulate you. Let's see, I called it... a route file. Kind of. Is it kind of, but not really? Like, I looked up a different type of creature which had a similar type of ability. Delinea Route File is the name that I came up with. I'm trying to remember what exactly creature it was. It might have been, honestly. <laughs> the lamest werewolf, really? Let's see, if it isn't via bite or blood infection, then possibly... Let's make it stupid. You look at a mirror. Seventh son of a seventh son. Seventh birthday. That is some luck. That is some luck you've got to have. Like, holy shit. And can't have any brothers. That's stupid specific. Holy shit. Mr. Kitaniji, have you made a decision? Yes. Strip the little of Rebel of his Reaper hood. Treat him as a player going forward. Yes, sir. I needn't remind you, Kanishi, of your obligation to erase both the players. You are Game Master. I'll get that done. I'll get the job done, sir. Good. 
You and your dad can't have any- That's stupid specific. That means, like, no one. But to be safe, I'm requiring all Reapers to wear their opens. Outlets. Sir, I know opens enhance Reaper battle performance, but what about the side effects? All to punish one ignorant little boy? It's so risky. Nonetheless, the composer wills it. I, for one, am grateful. Haven't we lost enough good men? Yes, sir. I'm also putting the UG on emergency call. <gasps> emergency call? Make the arrangements. That's really disappointing, then. Then, like, seriously. Something's wrong. Why such alarm over one artless rebel? He's hiding something. I need to act now, but not blindly. Every good plan starts with hard facts. S the Cross of Senseless and Sensible. Chapter close. Headless mule with fire coming out of the neck. Weird. <sighs> I don't remember the creature anymore. God damn it. Just let's for now assume that it was some type of that it might have been based around that might have been based around like that river like that river dolphin or something. I don't know. Just what I ended up coming up with was like this mollusk about two fists was a two fist size. And it can and when struck with a metal object, it can emit a sound that bypasses perception and makes you susceptible to a single train of thought. And within the story, it ends up... Is it that specific train of thought? It's specifically, like... It only works on an iota once. And it only works for one specific thought. But you can't go against that specific thought ever. Until the creature perishes. And it leads to... The entirety of Synapse going under for a day. Ignore the missions, make for the Shibuya River. Once I'm composer, this game business is done. And then... Man, eh, let's just go. Go where? You haven't even read the mission. Who's that? Greetings. I am this week's Game Master. Itsuki Hanishi. This is the Iron Maiden? Move, yo! I ain't got time for you! So primitive. You think I can't see what you're up to? You were going to ignore the mission. Because it and caused some kind of trouble. So what, yo? I'm a reaper. I've got to do some stupid mission. As I thought. Well, I regret to inform you. You were officially expelled from the Reapers yesterday. As of today, you're just a player. <laughs> Whatever. You can't fire me because I quit, yo. I don't act like a child. You think I acted? No. I can see it comes quite naturally to you. Damn right. Dude, she's making fun of you. What? <sighs> Since I can't reverse evolution and speak your language, I'll keep this brief. You may be a player now, but you still broke Reaper rules. Which means you have a penalty coming. They explain to you that a Reaper's points determine his or her lifespan. Yes, so big deal, yo. You burned zero. Not a very hard worker, I see. You was gonna make me sick noise on the players. That ain't what I signed up for. Then I can't fathom why you did. One person's success is built on another's sacrifice. And besides, if I'm not mistaken, your only motive for becoming a Reaper is sitting perched on your shoulder. One little noise? Talk about petty. Shut up. What do you know? As you wish. Zero points. That leaves you with about five days to live. Including today. What? Five days? Then I ain't gonna be- This is gonna last the game. The Reaper's Wings are not a license to do whatever you please. Ponder that during the time you have left. Now then, player, in honor of your fall from grace, why don't I claim your entry fee? Huh? What? 
<laughs> what? No! I wonder what you hold dearest. Could it be this noise? It is, isn't it? Give her back, you iron witch! I have a better idea. Since this seems to be distracting you... Don't you do it, yo! <laughs> Crunch. She'll add it to the heap. There. Much more manageable. Now you can focus on my mission. What are you... Give me that pin! First, your mission. How about... Defeat me. You have six days. Days? Or until you perish, whichever comes first. Yo, I don't need no six days. I'ma finish this right here now. Predictably hasty response. Let me finish. Keep jumping the gun, and you're going to fail. Don't you care what becomes of this pin? Damn it. That ain't fair. At this point, I'm gonna move to a certain place. I'll stay in that place for the next six days. You need to find me. So it's like hide and seek. We just gotta find you? That's easy, yo. Correct. We call this Reaper Sport 2. Hide and seek. I picked something at your age range. What'd you say? Best of luck to you. Oh, and here. You'll need this. Play a pair. I'm looking forward to watching you squirm and choke. Powerless to find me. Powerless to stop death from finding you. Just be a woman that married a priest. What the fuck? Take care. Yo, get back here, damn it! <sighs> Timer. Damn it, she got away. That's the way to 104. Yo, forget the Shibuya River. We gotta go after her, man. I need that pin. Otherwise, being the composer means nothing. Why? That noise that was with you. What would- That ain't no noise, phones. Uh-huh. Let's bounce. And I say nothing about that. Because that'll be explained eventually. First. So, this is an open. Reminds me of the design sweeping the town. You know, I think it's the same pin. Something about this stinks. <laughs> Better hold your nose then. Your nose then. We have to wear them. GM's orders. You mean her iron mugliness? She's really gone and done it this time. Oh, come on. Live a little. Secret weapons. Unchained power. Sign me up. Uh-huh. Ever, ever wonder why they keep the chains on? Um, I guess it must take a toll. Something must be spooking the higher-ups. If they're breaking these puppies out. It does seem like overkill for one little freshman traitor. Maybe. Maybe not. Huh? Please. Anyway, I see you've finally cheered up. Well, yeah. Work is finally getting back to normal. Rewarding. Atta girl. How about, the, how about we stay for a bit of working diligently, I see. Huh? Working diligently, I see. An alligator witch. Oh, that sounds cool! Yes, ma'am! Okay, let's see what's in the shops around. That'd be something worth buying, right? Well, not exactly that. Not exactly that, either, but something. And it unlocks a, uh, quest item. An alligator witch that punishes bad kids. That's actually funny. Really? How'd it taste? That I've heard from cooking shows, it can be a bit tough. Come on in. Like, tough to chew. I'll buy that. Give me another shield ramen just in case. Okay then. Just chewy. Wow, that's actually really cheap. And Beat can use it. But what do I take off? Ah, oh, right. It's an accessory. So you stay with Mazzy then. 100, 133. Yeah, sure. Let's make Neku a glass cannon. But it says deep fried version. 
that would help that would help it go down easy, a little more easily. Also, it's a bit of crunch too. Hmm. Well, if it's fried the right way, rather. Oh, right. The money. Tasty alligator nugs. I might as well fight a few noise. Just so I can get some cash. Oh no! I just realized. Oh, fuck me! I just remembered what types of noise can appear now. Rhinos! I'm fucked. I'm digging it. Be careful. Come and get it. Have some more. I got this. Watch that. Um. Be careful. I'm digging it. What types of pins do I have? Right, Masher. Seriously? Well, at least it's damage to him. And let's shed that quick. Okay, good. You call that a fight? But yeah, again, beat can be very high risk, high reward, especially since if he's set to auto, and let's face it, you're going to have at least some auto on him. He can sometimes have a tendency to just gun it immediately into danger. Wait, why can't I heal? Tell me this mole enemy blocks healing. Because if that's the case, then I am a little bit screwed. My apologies for the beeping. I am on a whim and a prayer here. Oh, good! Healing! Eat that. Okay, finally, fusion. High speed hijinks. <sighs> That'll clear. That was dangerous. I do get that, actually. Like, I swear, sometimes you could find some really interesting stories just by sleeping. I know the reasoning on that, but let's not mention it, specifically because it would destroy the magic. Dreams can lead to some very interesting and unique concepts. Actually, how much cash do I have? An okay amount. I can at least check the last two shops here, maybe? Cross your fingers. Splish splash! I was taking a bath! My old friend Splish Splash. Bah! Ah! That's a 500. That's a 500 attack! I have found something disgusting. And if I can, it's going on net. 
because I think it counts in as, an, as an accessory. Yes, it does. So Neku is going to absolutely destroy everything he touches. The scientist that got curious and summoned a demon just to research it. Let's hope the demon was fine with it. Maybe they like cheeseburgers. Okay, what do I have that's seven bites? Answer. Nothing. So in that case, what should I prioritize? I don't exactly need attack power as much thanks to my equipment. Worst case scenario, I could just beef up my HP. Not bad. Pills. Makes a contract like, let me research you and you can have my s Well, that's one way to do it. The most direct way. After all, demons like souls, right? They like candy. Only they actually help the demon live. <laughs> Alright, let's... Fight these guys. Clickety, clickety, clickety. Holy shit! Shred them like nothing! Yeah! Sometimes they can be. Actually, like, uh, a moment to tell a small story. Back when I was in college, I had the pleasure of talking to one of my old psych professors, and I kid you not, word for word, they said, to be in the psychology field, you have to be at least a little bit under. <laughs> I believe them. I, I genuinely believe them on that. Oh, I can't attack yet. There we go. At least deal with a couple of frogs. Sheesh, this attack power! It's kind of disgusting. If I can, I'm buying a whole bunch of those. <laughs> High school chemistry teacher had 20 lab had li more than 20 lab coats of different colors. <laughs> That's amazing. It's like, which lab coat do I wear today? Is it metallic gold and silver? <laughs> well, that's dedication to a bit, at least. <gasps> Damn, I can imagine them like sitting at their closet, like, okay, now which is which one do I wear today? The Chartreuse, or... How do I not have Blue Blood Burns Blue? Dying. Mi Tiny mini skirt! Come back soon. A different one each day. <laughs> Never saw the same one twice in a row. That is amazing. That's amazing dedication to being fabulous. Yo, quit busting my berries, man. I'm talking about this. This wall op opens with my level one key pin. The one you used to open the wall yesterday? <laughs> she forgot to take it back. No, I don't think she did. There, open. Move. 